All right, Brian, how's it going? Um, as you can see, I've got this track that I'm working on. There's three layered kick drums. Uh, one's for the low sub ear kick, and the other two are more for the mid and high kicks. I've got three layered bass lines as well, all for the same sort of principle, as you can see. Uh, I just want to play you what it sounds like with the kick and the bass together, and then I'll play you a small portion of the track. Um, but the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I'm struggling on inspiration at this point. I don't know what else to put in this track to make it sound more interesting. Um, since I last shared it with you, I have, however, um, added two different types of vocals. This is the main lead vocal. And then just before the uh, kick comes back in again, there's the short sort of like choppy vocal that comes in to add more groove to the track, which I've actually managed to get into the key of the track as well by using the, uh, the uh, flex pitch, which I didn't actually realize Logic uh, had. Um, I don't know if it's been there for a long time or if it's something that they've just recently uh, added because obviously I haven't used Logic for God knows how long. But yeah, I've got this track that's developing and it's sounding really good. So I'll play you what the kicks and the bass line sounds like together now. Um, and then I'll play you a small portion of the track. I won't play the whole thing because it goes on for about six minutes, but I'll play a small portion of it. Um, so yeah, if you could sort of uh, give me your thoughts on what I could add to sort of uh, add more variation to the track, I'd really appreciate that. Cheers then. Right, well that's obviously the kick and the bass, which I think sound really good together. I'll play you the kicks on their own, like all three of them together at the same time. And then I'll play the same with the bass as well. I'll play each individual sound so you can see what I've layered. So these are the kicks together. This is the more subbier kick. This is the mid kick. This is the high kick, roughly the same sort of sound, but with the more higher frequencies. And obviously together they sound like this. And the bass line, take the kicks off. The bass line sounds like this. Oh yeah, also, actually, the reason how I've got the bass and the kick to sound quite wide in the stereo field is because I've bust them through a stereo spreader. Where is it? Here we are. I haven't done the low end side of the bass because um, I didn't want to phase the uh, sound or the track and make it sound muddy. I've only really done it for the more mid frequencies and high frequencies, so it makes it sound more thicker as you can hear here. So I've side chained them as well, so it gives room for more sounds to go in there. Um, I've done the same sort of thing with the kicks as well. But obviously for the low end kick, I've done exactly the same. Oh, I have actually put a spread on there. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I meant to actually have it just for the mid and the high kick. purely for the fact that I didn't want the uh, sounds to phase and make the mix sound muddy. So at least that's sorted out now. But yeah, I'll play you a small portion of the track and um, up to the point where the vocals come in and just before the kick comes back in. And um, if you can add your thoughts on what you think uh, I could add to make it sound more interesting, I really appreciate that then. Cheers, buddy.
All right, so that's basically where the kicker comes back in. Um, I'm hoping you can kind of see what type of vibes I'm trying to get with the vocals. The idea of it basically is the uh, longer one, it's just more sort of to go over this area, this large area. And then the smaller ones is coming in before the beats come in, just to sort of add extra grooves to the track. But, you know, imagine like this is being played in the club. When that vocal comes in, that large one, um, a lot of people will be kind of, well, this is my thoughts, really, you know, digging the track. And then the smaller ones come in and like, yay, that sort of thing. Well, that's my sort of poor rendition of it, but <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, if you could add your thoughts on what you thought, think that I could add, I'd really appreciate that. Cheers, buddy.